Australia now has a firm and bipartisan commitment to nuclear submarines. It's a huge step forward for this country. Now, while there are good reasons of history to keep a close eye on the cost and effectiveness of submarine procurement, the step forward also consists of our approach to nuclear matters generally. Nuclear medicine has been trusted, safe and effective in this country for a long time. There has been a stable, safe and scientifically important nuclear facility in Lucas Heights in suburban Sydney for a long time. And nuclear power generation has come a really long way too. The traditional reactor is nothing like the Homer Simpson image anymore. It's safer, more efficient and produces a tiny amount of a waste is, that is incredibly stable once it's been processed. Australia has the natural deposits and the geological stability to make this a safe and long-sighted answer for our energy crisis. And the small and modular nuclear reactor technology has the potential to, without the need for human intervention or water access, provide low emission baseload support even in regional areas and high energy intensity industries like, for instance, aluminium smelters. And as for the impact on power prices, well, until recently, France was overwhelmingly powered by nuclear energy. When renewables were introduced in France, though, prices actually went up. 